Hey, Mama College of Business students, welcome back. Today, we're going to be going over how to register for classes. Now, if you're not sure which classes you want to sign up for, if you've met with an advisor before, they have probably already mapped out your schedule in your degree works in the planner section. You can always access your degree works by logging into your Oasis account, navigating to the student tab, clicking degree works, and then the planner tab. Meet with an advisor, meet with them as soon as possible. You can check out other videos if you're not sure how to meet with them. So you can go right here, or you can visit usf.2 slash business advising. Let's get into picking classes. Once you're in the dynamic schedule search, select the semester term you're wanting to schedule. If you know the course code of your class, which is three letters and four numbers, search just for that. Or if you're wanting to cast a wider net to see which courses are available, leave it blank. Sometimes getting too specific in the search can mess you up. Only put search parameters if you know that's the only type of search you need. Students may be running into this error with the campus selection tool. For years, students were taught that they needed to select certain campuses, but now that we're one USF, any USF student can sign up for any course, regardless of which campus it is. And due to the pandemic, many if not most of these courses are incorporating an online element or a remote element or a hybrid element, high flex. So be on the lookout for that when you're looking at your courses as well. That's why for search, it may be most helpful to leave these drop downs alone in your first search, just to see what all of your course options are for the summer. You can always go back and make your search more specific, but you want to get a good baseline idea of your options to make sure you aren't missing anything. Once you submit your search parameters, let's understand the results. At the bottom of each course listing, it will show you the date, time, location, and professor. If the location says off, there is no physical meeting space and the class is offline or remote. The instructional method will also be listed so you know how often you may be expected to show up in person, if at all. The next thing you want to do here is check to see how much space is left in the class. If you click on the course name, it will take you to a new screen where you can see if there are open seats in the class under the column labeled remaining. The course reference number, or CRN, is located next to the course name. Save this for later. Now you're going to take one of these. It's called a pen. You can write down on a piece of paper and make sure you save all those CRNs for when you need it in a couple steps. Or you can write it down in your phone's notes app or email it to yourself or copy and paste it like a normal, like most people would do nowadays. So once you've got all your CRNs, you're going to log into your Oasis account and navigate to student and submit the correct semester, register, register add or drop classes, then scroll to the bottom. You need to submit one CRN per blank and make sure you click submit. Your courses should pop up in a list here. If you receive an error message, it could be for several reasons. Actually, let's ask one of our advisors, Magdala, about why you might be getting an error message. Magdala, why is that? Hey, Laura, thanks for asking. I would be happy to go over the common mistakes that students make. One of the first mistakes we see is students trying to register for classes in the wrong term. For example, a student may take a CRN for the summer and try to place it in the fall registration page and they will get an error. Another mistake we see is students trying to register for classes that are full and receiving a closed section error. This also leads me to another error that we see, which is students registering for classes that are reserved for certain groups. When you are looking at the course options, the details will highlight if a class is reserved for certain groups of students in a program. If you try to register for a class reserved for a group that you are not a part of, you will get a registration ad error. The last error that I will address is the class schedule search option. Picking too many will limit the results. So to start your search, I recommend that you begin with just the subject and the course number. This will allow you to see all of your options. If you are concerned about picking a class on a specific campus, then those options may be helpful. But other than that, it is best to use just the subject and the course number. I hope these tips help. Back to you, Laura. Thanks, Magdala. 
All right, business bulls, thank you for watching. Remember to go ahead and register for your classes. Keep studying hard. Enjoy your summer. Get excited for fall. And if you like this video, you can go ahead and like the post, or you can just keep on a lookout for all of our social media posts regarding more information about classes, events, all the different things that are coming up. And our handles are at USF MUMA on all these channels. Thanks. Have a great day and go bulls.